Hi everyone, this is Lan the assistant for our math problem of the day. This time, let's do some algebra tricks when solving equations involving fractional exponents that are quadratic in form. Here is our problem. Let's say we are asked to solve x raised to 5 over 3 plus 2x raised to 4 over 3 minus 3x is equal to 0. Find the value of x. Notice that we have here an improper fraction 5 over 3 which can be written as a mixed number. 5 over 3 is equal to 1 and 2 thirds when written as a mixed number. Also, this fractional exponent 4 over 3 can also be written as a mixed number 1 and 1 third. Because of this, this x raised to 5 over 3 can be written as x times x raised to 2 over 3 because it is implied that the exponent of x here is 1. When we multiply exponential numbers with the same base, we copy the common base x and we add the exponent 1 plus 2 thirds, which is 1 and 2 thirds, or 5 over 3. In other words, I am just rewriting x raised to 5 over 3 into factors x and x raised to 2 thirds. So we applied here the converse of law of exponent number 1. Given the product, we can split them into two factors. Let's do the same for 2x raised to 4 over 3. We can rewrite this as... 2 and split x to 4 thirds as x times x raised to 1 third. Then we just copy minus 3x equals 0. Notice now that x, x and x is common among the three terms. So factoring out now this common factor x, we have x times this expression x times x raised to 2 thirds divided by x gives us x raised to 2 thirds. Then 2x times x raised to 1 third divided by x gives us 2 times x raised to 1 third. And then negative 3x divided by x gives us negative 3. Then copy equals 0. This resulting part here is quadratic in form because if this happens to be 2 instead of 2 third, and this happens to be 1 instead of 1 third, then you have a quadratic equation in the form a raised to 2 plus 2a minus 3 equals 0. So let's do the necessary substitution. We look at the literal coefficient of the middle term, that is x raised to 1 third, and we let that to be equal to any variable. In this case, let that variable be equal to a. And it follows that a squared, therefore, is this x raised to 1 third raised to the second which is simplified as x raised to 2 thirds. Notice now that this x raised to 1 third is this literal coefficient and this x raised to 2 thirds is now this literal coefficient. So that means this part here can now be written in terms of the variable a. So we now have this. We copy x instead of x raised to 2 thirds, which is this part, we use our substitution a squared and instead of x raised to one third which is this part we use our substitution a we copy the two we copy the minus three we copy equals zero let's continue in the next page so from this part notice that a squared plus two a minus three is factorable and the factor of this trinomial is the quantity a plus three times the quantity a minus 1, we copy the x and we copy equals 0 to arrive at the next line. We now have here three factors whose product is 0. That means in order for the product of these three factors to be 0, at least one of them must be equal to 0. That means x is equal to 0 or a plus 3 equals 0 or a minus 1 equals 0. At the leftmost part, we already have our solution for x, x is equal to 0. But the second and the third are still expressed in terms of our dummy variable a. So we still need to go back to our substitution and replace this a by the value of a which is equal to x raised to 1 third. But first, let's solve this for a. Subtracting 3 from both sides, we arrive at a equals negative 3. And then replace this a by x raised to 1 third and then Simplifying, we raise both sides to the third exponent. The left side is equal to x. And negative 3 raised to third is equal to negative 27. 
So we now have our second value for x, which is negative 27. The first one was x equals 0. Now for the third, let's solve this first for a. Adding 1 to both sides of the equation gives us a equals 1. And we now replace this a by our substituted value, x raised to 1 third. And so we have this next line. And then raise both sides to the third in order to simplify the left side to x. And 1 cubed is equal to 1. This is now our third solution, x equals 1. So we have three answers, x equals 0, x equals negative 27, and x equals positive 1. Now let's check if all these answers are valid given the original equation. Let's also watch out for any possible extraneous roots. So for our final answers, the roots of x raised to 5 thirds plus 2x raised to 4 thirds minus 3x equals 0 are x equals 0, x equals negative 27, and x equals positive 1.